Now it's time to talk about confounding variables. Let's start off by talking about the definition. The definition is a confounding variable is when an experimenter cannot tell the difference between the effects of different factors on a variable. Now that's a lot of words and it's kind of hard to understand. So let's look at an example. I want to set up uh, an experiment here. And my experiment is the question that I want to ask, I should say, is level two harder than level one in a particular video game? So I've got my test subjects over here, and they're going to be playing a video game, and I'm going to have them play level one, and then I'm going to have them play level two. And I'm going to record their score on level one, and then record their score on level two, and I'm going to make a comparison to see if level two is actually harder than level one. We'll see what happens. You would think that on level, <clears throat> you would think on level two, they might have a little bit lower score than level one because it's more difficult. So let's go ahead and go through the experiment. So here come my test subjects, and they're ready to play level one. And they come over here, and they play level one and I record their scores. So I'm going to get their scores for level one. And I give them a break, maybe they get to go eat lunch or whatever it may be, and I have them come back. And now I have them play level two. So over here we've got level one, and they come back later on, and I have them play level two. So they come in and they play level two, and I record their scores. And it turns out that level one scores are higher than level two scores. So level one is easier than level two. But if you notice something, let's say this was my classroom, and this is exactly how I set up the experiment. And when I had the kids play level one, they sat close to the television. So over here on level one, they were sitting close. But when I had them play level two, I had each one of them sit far away from the television. So over here, they are sitting far from the television. Now, the only thing that I really wanted to know was, is level two harder than level one? Well, the one thing that I did not do is I did not, I did not control the experiment. If I would have controlled the experiment better, they would have played level one and level two in the same spot. So now let's go back to the confounding variable. The variable of interest is their score. What I really wanted to look at is their scores. But I added an extra variable in there that I should not have. And that is the distance that they played, the distance they sat away from the television when they played level one and level two. So the distance turns out to be a confounding variable. Okay, the distance that they sat, whether they sat close or far away, turns out to be a confounding variable. Because, remember, let's go back to our definition. A confounding variable is when an experimenter cannot tell the difference between the effects of different factors. I only wanted to look at the scores, but did the, did the kids and the, did the experimental units score better on level one because it's easier or did they score better on level one because they sat closer and where they sat 
turns out to be the confounding variable.